Hey up everyone, welcome back to the Rugby League History Channel. Tonight I'm going to be doing part 3 of me forgotten NRL Rugby League ground. So I've already done North Sydney Oval, that was the first one. Second video I did was Patton Park. Tonight's video is going to be Askenville Oval. Now some of you might be going, Askenville Oval? What's that? Where, where's that beast? Well, Askenville Oval is located in the suburb of Askenville, which is in between Redfern and Newtown. I lived in Newtown for seven years, so I was just down the road from Askenville and the Oval itself. It's on the corner of Askenville Road and Mitchell Road. I've trained there. I've uh, watched a couple of, you can see, lower grade games there. I'd walk past the Oval every day, but when you're going past in the car, when you're walking past, you wouldn't assume that this ground actually held NRL matches or the predecessor New South Wales Rugby League matches. So the Oval itself was built in 1885, but it wasn't until 1913 that the ground actually hosted its first Rugby League match when Newtown, they moved their home matches from, there was a place called the Metters Ground, which was close by. And apparently there was issues with the playing surface and the amenities at the ground. So they found that Askenville Oval would be suitable as a home ground. So Newtown in 1913 started playing home matches there. And the first ever match at the ground was on May the 17th, 1913. And Newtown played out 10 all draw with North Sydney. Now they continued to use the ground for a couple more year, but then... Between 1918 and 1941, no first grade games were played at the Oval. Uh, in the meantime, Newtown, for reasons unknown, I've, I've tried to research it, but for reasons unknown, they moved their home matches to Marrickville Oval, which is located, you can see, on the border of Petersham and Marrickville, um, corner of Sydenham Road and Livingstone Road, going off the top of my head. Um, they played for many years there. Um, it wasn't until 1947 that Newtown actually returned to Erskineville Oval. And, as I said just, just before there, for reasons unknown, they left their home ground at Ensign Park, which is their home ground today. But for some reason, for a few years, they left Ensign Park. And they played between 1947 and 1954. That was their home ground, Erskineville Oval. Now, in 1954, they played their final ever game at the Oval, which was on March the 24th, 1954, and Newtown defeated Canterbury 16 points to 13. Now, this was the last ever first grade NRL match ever played at the ground. So, since then, I think it's coming up to about 70 years now, there's been no first grade rugby league matches played there. But following 1954, the ground continued to be used as a um, lower grade ground. It continued to be used as a, a ground used by the Alexandria Rovers that still play there as of today. And it's been used for a few other Sydney district competitions in, in those matches. In 2006, South Sydney... So the South Sydney Rabbitohs, they actually moved to the ground and used it as a training facility for two years while Redfern Oval was being redeveloped into a into a training facility. Um, I, I remember actually going past Askenville Oval in 2008 and I saw the likes of John Sutton, Isaac Luke, all of them walking into Askenville Oval and putting on their training gear and that. Um, the Oval has had some renovations in the past. Most notably, it had renovations while South Sydney were training there because obviously NRL players want to be playing at the, the best facilities or facilities that are going to be up to scratch. So they need to get that all sorted out for when South attended. And some of the remnants of, of South being there are still at the Oval, as in... The seats are still painted red and green. I don't know if they've been repainted since, but the last time I went there, they were red and green. Um, the reasons why 
I think Newtown left the Oval from what I've read and what I've kind of studied is that the club left the ground and moved back to Ensign Park because um, the crowd facilities weren't great and the, the amenities in the changing room and in the, the stands weren't great either. So that's the reason why Newtown packed it in and moved back to Ensign Park from Erskine with Oval. So if you're in Sydney next time or you're, you're in, in the area, Go down to Erskineville Oval and and just have a look to see what it's like. Um, it's a very unassuming place, as I've mentioned. It's not a place that you think, hey, first grade matches were played at this oval. In total, just before I go, there was um, 84 matches played in total. 84 NRL games, first grade matches played at the oval. So um, there was quite a few games played there. But it's, it's, it's worth... Go and check it out if you're in the area. By all means, go in there. You're allowed to run around on the field. There's no restrictions or out like that. You can have a shot at the goals if you want. Go ahead. But that's me, um, me video, part three of the Forgotten NRL Grounds. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click that like button. And if you're enjoying the content that I'm making and you're enjoying the other stuff that I'm doing, click that subscribe button. And click that notification bell so you get an email when I do a new video. As always everyone, catch us all later. Enjoy the week and uh, look after yourselves. Alright, tatty bye.